is wrong. Welcome to this, the first episode of Keeping My Code Hand Strong. That being said, we're going to keep the subject matter kind of light today, even fun. We'll be going over how to change the user agent in the Python request library. Uh, we'll be using Linux today. Windows people, you're on your own. I'll be using Debian. Um, so we'll be using the aptitude repository for our download manager. Uh, please use the appropriate one for your flavor of Linux. Uh, we do need Python installed, so make sure you have that installed. Um, we'll go ahead and check our version here so you know what we're working with. This has not been tested on version 3, so uh, this is only for a 2.7. Uh, okay, so first we need to go ahead and get pip if we don't have it installed. So, um, like I said, I'll be using the aptitude repository. So, we'll go sudo apt-get install python pip. And I, this is already installed on here, so if we were to do it, it'd tell us it's already installed. Good, good. After pip's installed, uh, we need the library requests with an S. So we would go sudo pip install request. And I think it's already installed in here, but yes, it is already installed. So once those dependencies have been met, let's go ahead and uh, get into the Python shell and do that in your command prompt by just typing Python. Once we're in Python, let's go ahead and import that library we just downloaded. So we'll go import requests. And once that's imported, um, we'll be set to use that library. Um, if you've ever used a library before, by default, if you're just going to go ahead and um, say r equals request I get, and we'll go ahead and uh, go to my development server here. Please don't do this on uh, any server you don't have permission to. Um, that's my disclaimer here. So if we say r equals request dot get, and then we're in this case going to my development server, and we send the request, and we look on our log for our development server, it sends this nasty Python's requests in, as our user agent. What if we are doing some web application fuzzing and said web application has this user agent in the firewall? Not good. So it turns out it's pretty easy to change the user agent with this library uh, using the headers equals headers parameter, as it were. So we're still here. We still imported our request. So let's go um, headers equals. And then we'll give it a tuple here. So we'll give it our first argument as uh, what we want to change, in this case being the user agent. So, and then we'll change it to what we want to change it to. Um, actually, that's a colon, pardon. In this case, we'll just go, if I could spell, so, <coughs> give it that as our argument so that will be our new user agent let's go ahead and uh, that's the only thing we want to send today so we'll go ahead and call that good close out with our curly bracket and then that is our header now that'll be our come our header variable so now if we were to do the same thing but add our headers equals headers and we'll close our bracket here that should send it this time with our new user agent and you could put that put anything in there you could uh, even put a dictionary iterate through an array 
of different ones uh, which could be useful in doing a SQL injection attack via headers or etc. Um, perhaps that's something we'll get into in a f later episode. But um, that's pretty much the gist. Very easy. Just use the headers equals and then change your user agent in there. And wow, you got whatever user agent you want. You can even iterate to make it do it a couple times, you know, do it ten times in a row. So it does it ten times in a row or however you want to do it. I'm sure you could think of lots of fun things. Um, there you go. Until next time, I'll be keeping my code hand strong.